God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homies. Welcome, everybody, to the Jay Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm Jay Sadie Gray, and I'm here with my sister, Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, have you ever done something for somebody and thought nothing about it, but apparently someone saw you do it? Suddenly, after time passes, that person that saw you does something really nice for you. Now that's grace or favor. We're going to talk about favor, but first we have a song, and here are the tallies singing Unmerited Favor.
Well, that was a great song, and Lenny was over here singing with them. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, you've heard people say, and I've said it too, hey, do me a favor. Well, favor is like getting something for nothing. I've got a great example for you. Lenny would help out our elderly neighbor when she wasn't employed, and she would help any time, night or day. Well, our elderly neighbor passed away, and the children apparently knew what a great help Lenny had been to the neighbor, and the children decided to give the neighbor's little Ford Focus car to Lenny. She hadn't done anything to help them, but they heard what a great help she had been and showed her great favor. She didn't have a car and needed one. Well, that is kind of what happened to Ruth. She was taking care of her mother-in-law, and Boaz noticed her working in his field. He learned who she was and that she was caring for Naomi, his relative. He is so appreciative what all she had done for one of his relatives. Boaz told Ruth to stay in his field and glean, and if she is thirsty, use their water and rest under their shelter and eat with them. And in the 10th verse of the second chapter, it tells us that Ruth bowed low to the ground and asked, why have I found grace? Grace is another word for favor. She says, why have I found favor in Boaz's eyes that you should take knowledge of me, seeing I'm a stranger? And she showed total humility. This just shows us how God will take care of us One way is through favor. God used Boaz to show favor to Ruth, and he showed favor to Lenny through the family of a neighbor. Lenny, like Ruth, was showing compassion to others and wound up receiving great favor. God is good. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, it's time for some more music. Here are the true worshipers singing Favor. There is a song in every silence, there is a dawn in every darkness, there is a hope in every pain. There is a spring in every winter, even in doubt there is believing through every season you are near. Oh, your favor and your grace, Lord, lasts a lifetime, lasts a lifetime. Oh, your favor and your grace, Lord, lasts a lifetime, lasts a deepest hunger you broke the bond that set us free you gave us life eternally Jesus the name that calms our fears only in you our sorrow sees your love has won and now we see oh your favor
another wonderful song and today we have a poem for you and it's about favor or grace and it's by Deborah Ann Belka and it's called it's about grace it's all about grace not about the works it's all about freedom with eternal perks for grace is liberating it's soul freeing too and it's not something you get by what you do it's all about grace, God's mercy and favor. It's all about believing Jesus is the Lord and Savior. For grace is forgiving. There is no cost to you. Jesus paid the price in full, leaving us nothing left to do. It's all about grace, the confession of sin. It's all about repentance that comes from deep within for grace will set you free from the inside out it'll cast out every fear take away all the doubt it's all about grace liberating and freeing it will turn you away from the sinful life you're living and that poem was inspired by ephesians 2 8 for by grace are we saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god well you know being born again christian means that god will show you grace he will show you favor and if you want his favor and grace just pray this prayer with me dear heavenly father please forgive me of my sins i believe jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and he rose again Please take my life and do something good with it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer and you believe it in your heart, you just got born again, call somebody and tell them the good news and start reading the Bible, His Word, daily. And it'll help you grow stronger in the Lord. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we thank you so much for listening, and we've got you in our prayers for great favor. And let us know if you have a question or a comment. You can get in touch with us through the station here, or email us at contact at J. Sadie Gray, or through Facebook at J. Sadie Gray, G-R-A-Y. And if you would like to get any of our books, you can get them on our Facebook page, along with other information about other products we have. And we're going to leave you now with Third Day singing Listen Blessed. And have a blessed week. Jesus is mine. The Salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. God took care of Ruth. And On behalf Naomi, of Lenny and myself, Jay, Sadie Gray, let's pray that soon. 
the sun will reign. God bless you all in Jesus' name.